Hi everyone, I'm Dan from jazzcomposerspresent.com, an online space where composers, musicians, and listeners come together to celebrate the music we love. I'm joined today by Christine Jensen, Juno-winning saxophonist, composer, and band leader, and assistant professor of jazz studies and contemporary media at Eastman School of Music. Christine is here to show us how to use pedal points to create drama. Hi Dan, thanks for having me on. Um, I'm here to talk about one of my favorite, I don't know, ways to get away from more traditional harmony and work with more modal harmony and uh, taking a journey with the drama of what you can do in modal harmony through the use of connecting pedal points. And pedal points can come from the top, the middle, or the bottom of a chord to the next chord, if I were to put a word on it. And uh, in this case, we're going to use an example from my CD Habitat, where I wrote a piece called Nishayu, which is the drama of this piece is about um, the uh, the Nishayu nation, which is a Cree nation in the north, and they're walking from north to south through the worst conditions of weather you could imagine to make their point. It's a bit political about um, just trying to have drinking water uh, that is clean. And there is a leader in this piece. So you'll hear this, the tenor soloist who is a good friend of mine named Chet Doxis. And he is kind of the, uh, the navigator of the whole piece through his improvisation over these pedal points. So we could start with the first opening of it. I'm not going to do the whole piece because it's 14 minutes long. But we'll get through the first section of it where we're just introducing all the characters of the orchestra and also getting into these kind of twists in terms of where are we going with this voyage that we're going to depart on and there's going to be a lot of extreme conditions to deal with emotionally and actually with the weather so uh we start in i i use key home centers of keys but then i use the modal harmony that comes off of them so all of these are in Ionian position of home centers, and you will hear those, but you'll also hear because of pedal points, we were able to drag you to a new place or, or push the piece to a new place through different uh, structures in the use of harmony within the mode. And that gets repeated again, actually, because uh, a really important thing for me is in the landscape of the piece to be be able to use, sorry, repetition through through the form so that we can really be caught in it. So that was the first statement, and it was really easy to write a melody over this because of the the, the beautiful Ionian position we're in. It was C Ionian. It's all white keys, pretty well, but it's a C over F. So actually, the pedal on that on those first two chords is actually three note pedal of, of that C triad inverted going, holding on to it and then just dropping down to a D minor with fifths and, and eventually the orchestra can take on some beautiful uh, sort of pads with that. But we're going to move to the next section because what, what am I going to do after the C Ionian position? Um, little be known to me, I went to the F Ionian position, which includes B flat Lydian in it. So we're going to push to B flat Lydian now, which is still a really uh, the Lydian landscape of, of very open sound. So 
so that's the or also in the orchestration the 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 trumpets are answering chat's uh, mel melodic theme you heard earlier which i developed a little further but now they've answered it and they're going to keep pushing forward so again we're still in ionian modes and, and generally i could switch between ionian and melodic minor systems but in this case um i'm only going to use ionian systems uh, not modes but the modes in those systems so now we're going to we're going to push it to another place, which is D flat Ionian, but really I start on B flat Aeolian position now. And our pedal at this point has now jumped to the bottom. So it's in the bass line. The B flat is consistent from what we just heard, which was the B flat major seven. And all I've done is, I don't even think about when I'm doing it, but I've dropped down to that G flat over B flat and that flat six in the bass. And it really pulls us to lift us through to a new key center. And in that journey, we just heard of the of that D flat Ionian um, home key. We actually heard going from B flat Aeolian down to an A flat Mixolydian sus to just another step down back to that again open Lydian sound of G flat all within the D flat uh, key center. So after that, I've kind of hit a a bit of a conclusion. And now we're gonna start the next step of the journey. So what has happened was, I call that whole section, the gathering of, of the, the tribe, getting ready to, to march through the cold, cold elements. And they've all agreed now that we're gonna take it. So now we're gonna go into a um, place where ambiguity happens. I still have a pedal. I'm able to kind of move around it because I don't allow for any third, which is a minor third or a major third. And right away that gets rid of a whole bunch of harmony that we're used to hearing. So we'll play a little bit of this and this becomes um, more of a, now we really have to get ready to, for the next journey or, or for just starting the journey right now. We've all decided that we're going to do it and now we're gonna start the journey. So this is, Alluding to a minor seven in a way, it's a very unstable pedal because of that third missing and it, it gives a bit of ambiguity and, and kind of like unsettledness of what what's going to happen next. So that again plays with the drama of the piece. And then uh, we have just after that, you would hear us starting to set up the time off of the B flat pedal and it, it's still uh, not settled, but the next step really is going to push us into the new territory because we're going to head into E flat Ionian, which uh, so far we were in D flat Ionian a bit and then it got ambiguous. So I'm going to throw down E flat Ionian with 
with the Lydian from that home key of E flat Ionian. So we're going to have an A flat Lydian and still connect with, I'm going to play it on my piano for a sec. We're still going to connect with that B flat bass pedal, that sound. But now this, the, the, the focal point will be the A flat. So you're going to hear this bass line. And it's kind of got this march going on, this whole thing. So now we're going to, you're going to hear everything stabilize after what just happened. And after that, we're just in A flat Lydian for quite a while with uh, what I would call the main theme of the piece, uh, not the same as the introduction theme, but something, something that's just very stable. We're in A flat Lydian truly for quite some time. And then another voyage embarks. And I, I love kind of the curve of the piece this way because um, it reminds me of those inside the score drawings and, and, there, there's quite a lot of peaks that happen just they're, they're slashing up and down it's like the coastal mountains or something but it, it's very very busy with peaks and declines with the use of these pedals so i hope you heard some of that in my dramatic explorations of pedals thanks for watching today's mini lesson be sure to like share and subscribe drop any questions comments or suggestions for future videos down below to watch our full-length events and participate in live q a's with our presenting artists head to jazzcomposerspresent.com thanks and we'll see you next time